Hello and welcome to this new tutorial of Moves for DCS World. In this tutorial I'm going to explain you four ways how you can make groups patrol within your mission. We find this demonstration mission here. I got a vehicle group defined and a ship group defined. And the first method will make the vehicle ground vehicle drive around the defined route in a repetitive way. This is the first method. Same for the ship. So you got the ship here. Sorry, the vehicle, I mean. And let me speed that up a bit. And now you can see that ground unit driving around the route in a repetitive way. All right. This is the script of the test mission. So you got the vehicle group object being retrieved and stored within a group instance object vehicle. And you can use vehicle to use the method patrol route, which will make the vehicle drive around the route in a repetitive way. This is the first patrol method that you can use from the Moose framework to make groups patrol a given route. Now let's get to the next example. In this example, you have the same kind of setup, but now the ground vehicle will not follow linearly the route, but will drive towards random points selected on the route and will have more randomness of the patrol as an effect. And this is the key facility or the key aspect of the second method of patrolling. So this is the way how this looks like within your mission when you use this. So now as a result, you see the ground vehicle driving towards random points within your mission. Looks to me very handy, yeah? This is how you code the example. So instead of using patrol route, you have a new method called patrol route random. And you can give a speed and a formation string. And the formation string can be retrieved by looking here at the formation type of the ground vehicle. So just provide one of these words here and it will function correctly. This is a third method how you can make groups patrol in a mission and in this method you can make the group patrol within a zone that's been defined in this case a circle trigger zone but you could also have defined a polygon zone and the ground vehicle will start driving at random points within the zone. So in this example, let me speed this up. You'll see the ground vehicle having more randomness of its patrol. Okay. This is how you code this. So you have a new method called patrol zones. Do mind the array here, and that has a reason for the fourth example. So you need to specify a zone object, right? Which could be a zone or a polygon zone. So you could do this as well. Polygon, right? And then use its new method. But in this case, we will use this one, just the zone, zone vehicle give the speed and the formation with the expected results. Now the fourth and last method is you can make a ground vehicle do a patrol between a couple of zones that have been defined within your mission. The ground vehicle will select a random zone, zone in a random location within the zone and start patrolling towards that point. And once arrived it will select another one. Let me speed this up. Right, so now you can see the ground vehicle patrol randomness. Do bear in mind that these zones, again, don't need to be trigger zones. They can also be polygon zones. Comes in very handy where you want to let a vehicle patrol between different zones. 
And this is how you code this using the most framework. Again, patrol zones as a method, right? But instead of giving one zone within your array, you now give three zones within the array with the desired effect. I hope you found this capability within the Moose framework of any interest to use within your missions. If you have any further questions, you can always reach me on the Slack or the Ad Forums Moose thread, and I will add the demonstration mission hyperlinks within the description of the YouTube video, as well some further documentation on this uh, feature. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next video. Bye bye.